finally warming up, huh? Holy crap. I on the road a lot lately. And, man, you know, it's like, it's like way below zero. That's some scary stuff when you're driving in the middle of Iowa, you know, and it's, well, you see the snow banks on either side. Because they say you're supposed to have a good survival kit in your car, which I do not have. <laughs> I've got like an ACDC t-shirt and a half a bag of funny and it's about the best time I'm going to do. If I go off the road, I'm going to die. <laughs> Crazy. I drove here tonight. Good thing I'm in town. It's usually they fly in the big names. But... Some kind of a mix-up or something. I'm sure we'll clear it up later. I was close by. <laughs> I was close by. So I got a piece of shit car, that's why I bring this up, you guys. Oh man. I feel my car book gas, it's value doubles. <laughs> From driving. Oh, that sucks. These gas prices too, they're creeping back up, aren't they? Yeah. I don't think filling your car with gas should all the words your loan has been approved. <laughs> Look, honey, you're free too. Well, KY, sweet. <laughs> what a Ramico. <laughs> I'm going to set this over here next time. I don't need that good of an ad workout. Bend it over for that thing. There we go. Now who's the thinker, huh? Right there. Whew. So anyways, my car has one really cool thing, though. It's got this little arrow on the dashboard that points which side the gas cap is on. That's so embarrassing you mess that one up, this thing. Oh my god, you got to roll the windows down, feed the hose through. <laughs> that is no way to impress a date. <laughs> yeah. There was the most kind of car you drive, like opposite to the kind of sex that you're having at the time. Uh, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, when I was in high school, I was a walking bag of hormones. I'd go after anything with legs. And the chairs were nervous around my house. <laughs> And what are we driving? A little Honda Civic, something like that? You couldn't have sex in that seat or one of those if you had a gun to your head. <laughs> Which is how I like my sex, ladies. <laughs> I'd float that out there. But then you get married, you know, you pop out a few kids, well, all the sex goes down to nothing. And what are we driving? Big old minivans, right? Sixteen beer can whores and we'll sleep nine. <laughs> no sex. We just got these up in Madison, we just got these meter and on ramps, you know, you pull up onto the belt line there. They're bragging, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I put them up there, they're bragging these things up, and they put the lights up too high. I pull up with this thing, I've got my head down in the back of the side seat just to see this light. My buddy who's sitting next to me, I don't really care for that too much. But the light turns green, I step on the gas, I slam this woman ahead of me because she's got her head down there too. And she was looking at the light. I just turned to pick up my beer and it was gone and I was like, what the hell? I'll really talk to my beer. So when I'm on the road, I always like to drive really late at night, you know, and I always end up eating at the worst place in the world. It usually ends up being like a gas station somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I found these things are really light there. You can't get very healthy there, but I found these things are really good. I don't know how healthy they are. They're called tornadoes. You guys seen these? Yeah, they took them next to the hot dogs on a little rotary thing, you know. And tornado's a perfect name for it, because about 50 miles down the road, you got a Category 3 brood in your stomach. Good thing you bought that gallon and a half size Pepsi to chase it down with, huh? That's a man-sized drink, boy. That'll put hair in your diabetes. <laughs> hair in your diabetes. That's a good line right there. That's a nice piece of business. <laughs> I don't think you guys gave the love it deserves.